In this video, we will go through the different page options we have and how to add a KPI to a page. You can make dashboards with interactive drawings with live data like this one, reports that can replace spreadsheets or regular internal reports, or make dashboards that are meant to be displayed on production areas. We have two main options when it comes to adding new pages or dashboards. If we want to have a grid as a reference to help us place KPIs, we add a dashboard. If we don't need the grid as a reference, we select the dashboard scaled option. We can change the size of the grid in the grid settings options to change the number of columns and the height of the rows to fit better the elements we are adding to the page. The prevent collision option can be activated or not depending on if you want to overlay different KPIs. For example, this dashboard has it deactivated to be able to overlay levels, numbers, and text on top of the image component. The scale option allows you to automatically scale the page you created when you change the size of the window. In the background tab, you can select an image to display as background. In the live mode tab, you can enable or disable the live mode in your page, and here you can see the JSON configuration of the whole page and all the components within it. Remember to click Save to keep the changes you made, or the Cancel or Close buttons in case you don't wish to save your changes. Once that you have made changes to your dashboard, you will see this message at the top of your page to save or revert the changes made to it. To add a KPI to the page, you can select any of the different options from the left drag and drop menu. And on the right side menu, you will see all the different ways to configure that particular KPI.